G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, there's always something happening in the workshop and not everything goes <laughs> to plan. I was doing some cutting uh, the other day with, with, with the, uh, the 6x4 bandsaw and bang, the blade broke. And it was pretty unusual that for this thing ever to give trouble, you know, it tracks and cuts really well, really square, and apart from the, occasionally it might throw the blade if it jams on, on a job. Um, no, it's been good, and the blade's been in there for at least two years, possibly three, could even be longer. You lose track, and, uh, you know, it's a good machine. It's Taiwanese, a wrong foo. I bought it second hand. I think I paid 80 bucks for it or something like that. But anyway, it's been good. So I thought, oh damn, the blade's broken. And I thought, oh, maybe the job would move because it was round stuff, round stock. And uh, I checked all that and I got a spare blade hanging on the wall. So I got that down and that was carbon steel, but a new blade, but been hanging up there for <laughs> 10 years. And uh, put that on and carried on. And 10 minutes later, bang. Same thing happened, broke that blade as well. And I thought, what the hell's going on here? And uh, I was lubing the job and everything and couldn't understand what was happening. So anyway, I had a look at it and I'll show you what the problem is. See how notchy that is? Doesn't sound too good, does it? That one's alright. That one's not great either. You can see it pinches up and stops. That's our problem. That one's good, even though it's worn in the centre, as they do wear. I'll replace the whole three. The ones on the other end, let's have a look at those. That's how they should be. Free running and no noise. Might replace the middle one, I'll see. I might even do the whole lot. I'll see how many bearings I've got. I did buy a whole heap of them a while back, but I can't remember what's there. So we'll use what we've got. So that's the problem. The, uh, the blade has been locking up in here and the drive pulley is still trying to feed it and I think it's kinked it and, and snapped it. Whereas if it was a direct pull, you know, even if you put a lot of pull on, the blade will will take it. But once you start compressing a blade, well, that's when the thing, I think things are going to bunch up and try and try and uh, go somewhere else and bang, they break. So that's the problem. It's the only problem I can see. Everything else looks good, perfect. So what I'll do is I'll replace those bearings, as I pointed out, and fit the new blade and we'll come back. New ball racers ready to go. To do this, we'll take out the the whole uh, adjusting slide. We'll do it on the bench. It's just a matter of take that circ clip off, knock off the bearing, and put on the new ones. Should be pretty simple. There you go. Out she comes. Now we can get at everything and uh, leave all the adjustment as it is, that we're not disturbing it. And we should be able to hopefully pull it apart, put it back and ready to go.
you see how I did that? Just knock it out from the bottom. Okay, from the bottom because there's a spline on the top, so it knocks out this way, just bring the top side, and when you put it back in, you feed it in from the top and knock it back in from this side. Easy. All done. Now it's just a matter of doing the other one the same way. Should be right. This is the roughest guts. That one's, look at that, it's almost seized right up. That's, I'd say that's the one that's the main culprit. And that one's loose, but it's notchy. That one's really bad. They're past the use-by date, for sure, so you better check them, make sure yours are okay. Ready for the blade now. All good. That's quite handy, that little plate works well. So here's the new blade, Die Master 2, made in the good old USA. And it's um, bi metal. So there she goes. I haven't actually used this brand before, but the ones I've got from the uh, the saw doctor has been good in the past. Well, she's all back together again, and uh, I just adjusted up the tracking. That that had altered because when you put a different blade in, it almost certainly vary the tracking. So we did that and uh, check the uh, the roller guides are uh, not too tight. You just have them so they can just you can just pull them around with your finger. They'll just skid on the blade, you know. That's tight enough, and uh, did both of those, and she should be ready to go. So, yeah, let's stick a bit of metal in there and see <laughs> if my handiwork's paid off. Perfecto. So all's well that ends well.
Just before we wrap up, I'd like to give a shout out to the place I go to for my saw blades, and that's Central Saw and Knife Works. So if you live in South Australia and you want to get bandsaw blades of any description or circular saws or get knives sharpened, whatever, this is a proper saw doctor and Stephen Volk is the guy uh, running it. So yeah, he knows his stuff. Friendly, friendly store, good, good uh, to deal with and quality products. Uh, they're not just selling stuff off the, off the shelf. They actually know what they're doing. And uh, yeah, if you're into metalwork or woodwork and you want blades, go down there. Okay, that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I suppose it's time to get back to work now. So that's it for now. See you around. Cheers.